Hi and welcome to RC Models and this the first in the Brood Attractor Unit conversion series. Rather than develop the prototype on camera I thought it was probably better to actually do this and show you and then follow up with a build series having perfected the methods and made sure that the thing ran properly first. This is I expect going to be the first of quite a few trucks that I'm probably going to convert in the same sort of way. Before I started I was very clear about some things which I wanted to achieve with the specification. First of all I wanted to keep it looking like the original toy. Secondly I wanted it reasonably capable, tough and controllable. There are no specialist tools required for this conversion and a reasonably competent DIYer should be able to complete this. Excluding the cost of the truck and the transmitter and receiver it's probably in the range of between 60 or 70 US dollars which I think is quite reasonable for what you managed to achieve with this. I was keen to develop a system for any of the larger brooder trucks including the eight wheelers and even have some application in the drive for the Volvo A60H. Before I start on the explaining I like to give credit where it's due. Firstly to my RC whose Mac and Scania conversions compelled me to do this Mac cooler first. Go check out his channel and see some of the brilliant things which he's managed to do. Secondly to JB for his use of the geared motors on a single axle which inspired me to take the approach which I did. I've put a link to one of his videos in the top right. Let's have a quick look inside and see how I completed this. Each of the four rear wheels is driven by a separate geared motor and the front has a small servo steering it. I was very keen to have some suspension and actually managed to achieve independent suspension on each of the six wheels. Moving to the back, all of the electronics is actually contained within this rear area here and in terms of putting the truck together, I didn't have to remove the body shell at all and I was even able to fully retain the fake motor in the front. We have a small 7.2 volt battery which I actually obtained from Component Shop. They are absolutely brilliant and will make up any configuration of battery you like with whatever plug that you want. And a cheap 60 amp waterproof speed controller. Underneath we have two tubes containing the four motors which are actually held in place with hose pipe clips. And these axles both move side to side as well as up and down. The wheels have been modified in a way which I've actually developed on several other vehicles and this allows me to mount the wheels quite straight and be able to get them on and off very easily. On the front we've got a very simple steering arrangement and surprisingly I was actually able to use one of those little Hobby King servos. I'll just show you it moving. The amount of lock seems adequate, although it wouldn't be hard to increase that. And again, with a small amount of modification to the wheels, I've got wheels which will come on and off very easily. I shan't go into all of the detail of how I built this because that's going to be covered very comprehensively in the build videos which are going to follow this one. I will, however, take you through the components which I used to build it with. First of all, a small amount of half inch L section aluminium which mounts inside the chassis. Quite a few short lengths of one inch by one inch L section aluminium which is which is used to hold all of the main suspension components both at the front and at the back. One inch aluminium tube which interestingly comes from the off cuts of roller blinds and I must admit I didn't realize why I was keeping all of these over the years so next time somebody asks you to put up a blind maybe offer to do it and keep the leftovers rather than encourage them to get somebody to come and fit it for them. Four of these 200 rpm geared motors from eBay they're only about five pounds each. For the steering a couple of these Mardave I think they may be V12 steering knuckles these are readily available on eBay and very, very cheap. I think I bought three pairs for about £10 or something. Plus some Imperial bolts which I found in my bits and pieces box. They seem to measure about 16mm across. When I come to the build video, because I'm going to have to buy some more, I'll find out exactly what they are. For the rear suspension, I've actually used the springs out of 
hand wash bottles so before you put your bottles in the recycling maybe it's worth unscrewing the top and cutting the springs out you never know when they might come in useful plus the usual m3 nuts and bolts washers and things like that which again i will cover in the build videos so in conclusion to be honest i couldn't be more pleased with the way that this truck has worked out having those four geared motors on the back almost acts like a limited slip differential so that if it gets stuck you just wait for a short while and then the wheels which are in contact seem to start moving again it's actually reasonably powerful that excavator on the back which is the one which i'm developing in the other series is pretty heavy and the truck had absolutely no trouble towing it anywhere out here in the garden i really like the controllability at the slow running speed and actually at full speed which i tend not to do with the models it actually does go at a reasonable speed well i hope you've enjoyed this video and found it interesting and informative i am trying to put out new videos each week and i tend to post them at 11 a.m uk time on a Friday. Today is a bit of an exception because it was taking me so long to do the prototype and I really did want to get it right before I made a video. If you're not already subscribed perhaps it's worth thinking about doing so and if you are if you push on the bell button you will actually get notifications when I put the next videos up. Please keep those thumbs up comments and suggestions coming I must admit it's the input from other people that actually really keeps me going with these things. And until the next time, thank you very much for watching.